coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Volocopter flies in Tampa. Matternet M2 drone granted type certification amendment. And Embry-Riddle students research drone swarm mapping. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Volocopter flies in Tampa. Tampa International Airport and Volocopter, the German designer and manufacturer of electric multirotor helicopters, have undertaken a comprehensive flight test campaign of accrued Volocopter 2X. The endeavor marks the first ever flight test of an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft in an operational U.S. large terminal airport, and the first eVTOL test to be conducted in the state of Florida. The flight test campaign consisted of aircraft downwash and outwash testing with the U.S. FAA and aircraft performance testing in local environmental conditions. Invited guests to the event include Florida DOT Secretary Jared Perdue, Mayor of Tampa Jane Castor, and leaders from Congress who are supporting UAM industry growth, regulatory advancement, and acceleration of public acceptance of eVTOLs in the U.S. Stateside, Volocopter announced in September its partnership with the Bristow Group to begin operations of eVTOLs in the near future, with Florida being one of the targeted areas of operation. Since 2018, Volocopter has flown in Las Vegas, Oshkosh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and Tampa. Continued and visible flight test campaigns in view of the public are crucial steps to building an efficient UAM ecosystem that receives the community's support. Coming up after the break, NASA to take first delivery of Dream Chaser space plane. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. NASA to take delivery of first Dream Chaser space plane. Sierra Space has revealed that its Dream Chaser space plane, dubbed Tenacity, is complete and will presently be shipped to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio, where it will undergo a battery of environmental tests over the coming weeks. Heralded as the world's sole commercial runway-capable space plane, Dream Chaser occasions a genuine and dramatic forward leap in space technology. Supported under the provisions of NASA's Commercial Resupply Services II contract, Dream Chaser is tasked with resupplying the ISS. FAA Updates 5G Guidance the FAA has updated its guidance pertaining to 5G C-band interference and the potential adverse effects thereof on aircraft radio altimeters. The agency recommends operators equip affected aircraft with 5G-tolerant radio altimeters ASAP. Subject guidance published in Safety Alert for Operators 21007, titled Risk of Potential Adverse Effects on Radio Altimeters When Operating in the Presence of 5G C-Band Interference, is the latest official update set forth by the FAA since the July 1st deadline the agency set for airlines to equip their aircraft with filters capable of shielding aircraft components and systems. Airbus Test SDAM Demonstrator Aboard French Naval Vessel Airbus Helicopters and Naval Group, in collaboration with the French Armament General Directorate DGA, and the French Navy, have tested the SDAM Demonstrator Naval Aerial Drone System from a multi-mission frigate. The trials were conducted on board the French Navy frigate Province as it plied the azure waters of the Mediterranean. Subject vessel had previously been adapted to operate the SDAM. 
The described sea trials were arranged to demonstrate the system's performance from an operational warship and the SDAM's capabilities for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. Aero TV, Maiman Aerospace Speeder Dazzles Oshkosh Crowds. Check out the latest video by ANN's Aero Video Team. Maiman Aerospace is the designer and manufacturer of a so-called air utility vehicle dubbed Speeder. Subject Machine is a compact, high-speed vertical takeoff and landing aircraft at once suited to dual-use military and civilian special missions roles. Painted in broad strokes, Speeder is a small car-sized aerial vehicle powered by varying numbers and configurations of turbojet engines arranged about the aircraft's periphery after the fashion of the quadcopter architecture typical of conventional drones. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Matternet M2 Drone Granted Type Certification Amendment The Matternet M2 has been granted FAA approval for an amendment to its UAS type certification. Subject approval underscores the efficacy of the hardware and software improvements Matternet has made to the platform and heralds the broadening of the machine's utility. In 2022, Matternet's M2 became the first non-military unmanned aircraft to achieve type certification and production certification in the U.S. The M2 is the only delivery drone to date to be granted a second type certificate approval. The aircraft underwent a rigorous FAA evaluation process by which it proved airworthy and eligible for scaled commercial delivery operations. Matternet is committed to evaluating the ever-evolving e-commerce and unmanned aerial systems delivery markets and availing itself of opportunities apt to encourage mass adoption of drone delivery and drive the industry forward. The company has established a global footprint through strategic partnerships and groundbreaking operations. The amendment to the M2's type certification furthers Matternet's aspirations to expand its customer base. The updated version of the M2 aircraft is in production. Matternet continues to work on surmounting regulatory hurdles for purpose of facilitating the proliferation of drone delivery networks. The company continues to explore and scale operations throughout the U.S., Europe, and the Middle East. Coming up after these messages, Embry-Riddle students research drone swarm mapping. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Embry-Riddle students research drone swarm mapping. A team of Embry-Riddle students has undertaken research pertaining to drone swarms and the usefulness of such to 3D mapping initiatives within GPS-denied areas. The term GPS-denied pertains to locales the likes of building interiors, underground mines and sewer systems, canyon networks, and heavily forested areas within which GPS signals cannot be easily received. Named Swarm Unmanned Aerial Vehicles Using Emergence, or SWAV, the Embry-Riddle Research Project was selected for inclusion in the NASA Aeronautics Research Institute's 2023 University Student Research Challenge, selection to which is ornamented with a NASA research grant of up to $80,000. For its own part, Embry-Riddle's Office of Undergraduate Research awarded the SWAV project Ignite and Spark grants. Project co-principal researcher and Embry-Riddle mechanical engineering major Daniel Golan stated, quote, The main application is to map out GPS-denied locations and make a 3D map in a more efficient way. The swarm would spread out and get everything significantly quicker with a lot more data. You are able to get a more accurate map in significantly less time, end quote. The NASA challenge affords students opportunities to put forth hypotheses consistent with the space agency's research goals. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.